Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I was actually going live and the phone started acting up again. The internet started acting up. So I have to start everything all over again because I'm not sure the first part that was being recorded on the internet is going to load up. Um, I, don't, I don't know the reason for this, but you know, Salakia, I need to start the, the lesson again. So first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahawah, Bahasham, Yahawah Shai, Bahasham, Rukah Kodash. Yahawah is the true name of the Most High Power of Israel. Yahawah Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, our Redeemer and Savior. The one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus, Yeshua, Christ and other names. Rukah Kodash is the Holy Spirit that gives us the full understanding of this truth, which is a gift from our Savior, Yahawah Shai. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS. These are the men that taught me the understanding of this Bible, the understanding of this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in his last days. To the brother Yarayaya Shad Allah, you know, I just need to get the spirit back because, you know, I, I was almost getting into 20 minutes into the, into the lesson where he brought up lots of things and, you know, all of a sudden, the internet just starts acting up you know so hey that's part of the thing man so you know the spirits spirit is on me to teach to do a lesson on on the good report and the evil report that was brought by the company of Israelites that went to search you know the promised land and I did a short lesson yesterday to give a, a kind of introduction into into this lesson you know you had Israelites sent by Prophet Moses to spy out, you know, the to spy out the, the promised land, you know. And everyone came back with a bad report, with an evil report, except from Joshua and Caleb, you know. And that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai through the scriptures, you know. Through the scriptures, we're searching out the promised land because the scripture tells you of how the kingdom is going to look like, how the kingdom is going to be governed, you know, though we don't have everything, but we're searching out the promised land, which is the kingdom to come through the scriptures, you know. Many of us were giving the good reports, why many others are giving the evil reports. Hebrew Israelite camps that are not teaching the truth, the 100% truth, like we teach it here in Great Millstone, that are telling you that the MOTB which is that thing that's spoken of in the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 16. You know, they're telling you that it's everything else apart from what it is, truly, which is the, the grain, that thing that looks like a grain of rice, the chip, that's going to be inserted under your skin. You know, those people are giving bad reports. People teaching that all nations are going to be, all nations are going to be saved, you know. Esau, Edom is not the wicked. They are giving an evil report, you know. So, that's exactly the, the same thing that we're doing today, you know. So, let's go get the book of um, Numbers, chapter 13. I'll read from verse 32. And this is the evil report that was brought by the other men of Israel that were sent to spy out the land. So, verse 32, they say, And they brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it, is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof, and all the people that we saw in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which come of the giants, and we are in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. You know, this is an evil report because, first of all, what they were telling is not true, man. They were trying to make the thing sound a little more, how should I put it? disencouraging for the sons of Israel because deep in the hearts of these wicked Israelites their plans actually was to go back to Egypt you know they preferred Egypt to the promised land that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has prepared you know and that's the same thing today you know we're telling you people we're giving you people the right reports why many others are giving you the wicked reports you know telling you that hey oh uh, uh, we can't we can't we, we, we can't we can't we can't come back to our natural to our natural positions as the sons of the Most High, as the administrators of this kingdom, you know, because they're scared of the so-called white man, you know, they tell you to 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 to, to follow every wicked um, rule that the so-called white man is so Edom tells you to follow, you know, these people are given a wicked report 
because they are afraid. They don't know the nature of the power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But we, through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we know that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to save us from the problems to come. We know that there is no power too strong for our power because he is actually the one putting these nations in power. So these nations cannot be stronger than the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So you see, so this is the right reports that we're giving. And they're saying all this to scare the sons of Israel anyway. Now let's go. Let's go to the reports. Let's go to the reports of the sons of Israel. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. To the people that gave the right report, which was Caleb and Joshua. This is the next chapter. The book of Numbers, chapter 14. I'll start from verse 6. It says, And Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, which were of them that searched the land, rent their clothes you know they rent their clothes why because the reports that they were given were evil reports and they saw that no such reports okay they saw that they were making the report sound um totally different from what they saw in order to scare out the minds of the sons of israel so they wouldn't proceed into the uh, into the promised land you know and the same thing is actually happening today because many people, they believe that this kingdom is going to continue forever. You know, that's why they do all what they can do, try their best, you know, to achieve as much riches as they can in this kingdom because they set their hearts in this kingdom. They believe the so-called white man, Esau Edom, can never be brought down. So they do his bid, you know. And that was the problem with the sons of Israel at that time because their heart was actually set that's going back to Egypt, you know, they loved their oppressors. So, verse 7, it says, And they spake unto the company of the, of the children of Israel, saying, The land which we passed through to such it is an exceeding good land. Okay? If Yahweh Hashem Yahushai delights in us, then it will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which floweth with milk and honey, only rebel not ye against Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, neither fear ye the people of the land, for they are bread for us, their defense is departed from them, and Yahweh is with us. Fear them not. This is the good report, you know. And that's that same report we're giving you through the spirit and power of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, telling you that, you know, the kingdom to come is where you should set your heart on, you know. You shouldn't set your heart in the wickedness of this kingdom, because this kingdom is about to be destroyed absolutely obl obliterated you know and Esau Edom the so-called white man that's in power is going to lose his power man is going into captivity all that he has done shall be done unto him you know this is this this, this, this is this, this is this is what's written in the scriptures you know he that leadeth into captivity must surely go into captivity he that killeth with the sword must die by the sword you know so the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is bringing judgment to this place you know and we're giving you the good, the good report telling you that, hey, so we're giving you the good report, okay, telling you that, hey, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, you know, change from your wicked ways and stop following your vain dreams. This kingdom has nothing to offer, man. This kingdom is going down and the rulers that are ruling this kingdom, which are the wicked, you know. Biblical nationality, Esau, Edom, they are all going down, okay? They are all going down. I want to demand that. It's written, the real image of Jesus Christ. Yes, that's Jesus. according to the Bible. Oh, that's the real image. Yes, that's the real image according to the Bible. If you get the book of Revelation, the first chapter, the 13th verse, the 15th verse, it gives you um is description let me get it real quick yes it was written by um john, john. okay Before apostle john. john jovan okay jovan. where are you from serbia. serbia okay yeah you see the sons of israel okay this truth is actually for the sons of israel okay mm -hmm. In order for you to accept this truth, you must be a part of Israel. And Israel is scattered all around the world. In Serbia, we have lots of Israelites. 
you know, looking like you, looking like me, you know, it's the spirit that detests, it's the spirit that tells you that you are the son of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, because the true name of the father is Yahweh, and the true yeah. name of his son is Yahweh Shai. The churches are fake, yes, the yeah. churches are evil, they're not teaching you the truth of the Bible, you know, this is what you should understand. The Bible tells you of his image, you know, in which, let me read it real quick for you. This is the book of Revelation, the first chapter. This is Revelation chapter 1. I'll read from verse 13. It says, And in the midst of the seven candlestick, now, this is John, okay? He was on the island of Patmos, you know, where he was taken to yes, yes, so you know as, as a captive, okay? Mm -hmm. You know? So he was given the vision. And the angel took him to give him a vision. Can. Okay. So this is verse 13. So he saw the image of our Savior. He says, And in the midst of the seven candlestick, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to his foot, to the foot, and girt about the path with a golden girdle. So this person, the, the, the son of uh, the son of the most high. He was wearing a long garment. Yes, yes. He had um, a, a, a gado, okay, kind of belt. In verse 14, it says, His head and his hair were like, were white like wool. Okay, now wool, the, the Negroes are the only people now, if you go, if you search science, you know, there is a science of different types of textures of hair. Yes, know. The Negro is the only people that have woolly hair. This is woolly hair. The yes, hair you have is straight hair, yes, you know. know. So this is woolly hair and he said the hair was white as wool okay and he said as um, and his eyes were as flame of fire like his yes. eyes were red because yes. we like me when i get angry or when i drink wine my eyes kind of get red yes. you know it says and his feet his feet this is the color of his feet he say and his feet were like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. Now, what's the color of brass? Now, if you take the... Like gold. Okay, it's like gold. This is the yeah. color of brass. Now, when you take brass and you burn brass, this is the color you get. Yeah. You see? So, they tell you is, is, is description, but the image that the church, the church push, yes, you know, you know what image that image is? You know the image that you, they show you in the church, the long hair, yes, the yes, guy, so you, the, know. you know what image is? No. That image is the image of Cesare Borgia, is the second son of the sixth pope. This is a tyranny, okay? Yes, yes. This man is slept with his sister. Yes, I know, I know. He, he, uh, Florence. Okay. Florence, I know, I know. I so, about uh, read me that, I have to hurry, please. Okay. So, it says, and his feet were like unto brass as if they born in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. May, may I see, please? Uh, and uh, he feels like... Uh, uh, fine brass. Uh, as if they born in a furnace. Burned in the furnace. Yes, 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 I understand how. So you and see. his voice is as the sound of many waters. Which means he has a very thick yes. voice, yes, a very yes, strong yes, voice. Very strong voice. Okay? So, you see, that's the image that's been shown to the prophet, okay? Uh, the image is not important, what is inside? Hey, the is image is important, the, the image is important because you're easily taught lies, yes, okay? Yes, that's true. If the Bible says the image is like this, why don't you put the image like that? Why do you have to change the image? Uh, why the um, uh, burned uh, uh, gospel by, by um, uh, um, Come si chiama? Uh, Magdalena. Puoi parlare in italiano Ma, uh, se vuoi. Ma, Maria Magdalena. Maria why, Ma why they burned, why church burned the gospel by Maria Magdalena? It was also there. Also uh, uh, Thomas gospel, Judas gospel. Well, all those, all those gospels are, are actually, uh, they're Rear. actually, no, they are actually corrupted. If you read those books, they're going to bog you out, okay? The Bible, you see, this Bible that I have here is the King James Version of the 1611 edition. It has the apocryphas in it. And these are the apoc apocryphas that are correct. Now, if you're reading other apocryphas that are out of this apocryphas, they've been, they've been corrupted. Yes, They're going to bog you out. Okay? Yes, They're going to give you demons. 
So you shouldn't read those books of um, Thomas and all that thing. I can tell you because I've read it. Okay, the spirit of the Most High is not in those books. Okay, those books are corrupted. So you should stay away from those books. Uh, because of that, they burned it. Okay. I think because of that, they burned it. All those books. Because uh, when uh, uh, a church from East and West divided in the fourth century, uh, they said, okay, in Nicaea, they said, Nicaea. Nicaea, see. Uh, they, they said, all those books are uh, for not good. Now, you need to understand what happened in Nicaea, okay? Nicaea, it was 325 uh, AD, okay? 325 AD. What they did was, it was Constantinople who was the emperor, okay? And so Constantinople was a dark skinned man, okay? What they did was they corrupted the truth because the people that were worshipping our savior, Yahweh Shai, his true name is Yahweh Shai, his true name is not Jesus because the letter J didn't exist until 1524 by a man named Jean Tricino is the one that invented the letter J and in this bible which is 1611 mm -hmm. the letter J is not here it's high okay mm -hmm. so if you want to see his name his name is not let me find see his name is Jesus here okay Jesus. so you don't have the J you don't yes, have the J no. okay uh, and the, the no, the no, Jesus Jesus okay Jesus. now if you go and look at Wikipedia and write Jesus, oh, Wikipedia. no, no, I'm just telling you for history or go, just make your research for history. Mm -hmm. There is a deity, a very bloodthirsty deity of the ancient Romans that's known as Jesus. They sacrifice babies to this deity. Yes, yes. Okay. And Jesus, Jesus is Greek. Okay. That name is Greek. Mm -hmm. Our savior is not a Greek. Our savior is of the tribe of Judah. Judah is a yes. Hebrew. Yes, I know. So they changed the name. All these things they changed. Okay, going back to to the um, to the Council of Nicaea in 325 AD, um, um, AD. Okay, what they did because at that time they were worshiping all these pagan yes, deities. Yes, I know, I know. They were I all pagans, man. Yes, I know everything. And what they were trying to do is the followers of our savior. There were lots of people who believed the name. The sons of Israel were waking up. And they didn't like it. Uh, and uh, you uh, are um, performing uh, here or in schools or what? Well, we have, we are actually, um, we are actually the sons of Israel, and we're following the commandments that are given mm -hmm. to go on the highways and the byways to teach the truth. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you have your community. No, uh, well, we don't. We don't have a necessary community. If you want, we have YouTube channels where we teach the Bible. The, the name is... Uh, Great Millstone. Great Millstone. GMS Great Millstone. Okay, you can, you can put it on your Google or on your, on your YouTube mm -hmm. and you can learn. Because the truth, the 100% truth is what we teach. Okay, we don't teach the lies that the churches are teaching. Our church also says the truth is on our side. The West side uh, uh, Christian church uh, is corrupted. Now, let me tell you. Our is uh, Orthodox. Let me tell you. This is the book of um, Isaiah. This is how you know who teaches the truth. Okay. Oh, sorry. I have to run. Okay. Just anyway, no tell problem. Me, just okay. tell me that, uh, That's uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 8.20. 8 20. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Have a nice day. Okay. Let that demon go, man. <laughs> Well, so going back to the lesson, okay, going back to the lesson, Salakia for the interruption, you know. So going back to the lesson, the, the evil reports and the good reports, okay, that were brought by the sons of Israel who went out to spy the land. Man, I would have really loved to do a life, man, you know, staying acting up. So anyway, oh, check this out. This is the book of um, this is the book of Numbers, chapter fourteen. You know, verse eight and nine is just what I read. You know, 
Caleb and Joshua, they were telling the sons of Israel that no, the report is, is false. That, that, that report that was given by the other Israelites are not, are not the right report, man. That the land is a, is a good land flowing with milk and honey. Now check out what the Israelites were about to do. Verse 10, it says, But all the congregation bade stone them with stone, and the glory of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai appeared in the tabernacle of the congregation before all the children of Israel. So you see, they were giving them the right reports, but what they wanted to do was to stone them. <laughs> and these are the sons of Israel, you know. They are always quick to kill their prophets. They are always quick to slander their prophets, you know. Just like they slander our prophets today. Uh, starting from the elder apostle Taha, calling all different kinds of names, you know, slander him, give him accusations of things he never did, you know, call us rapists, call us different kinds of things that we never done, you know. But hey, no worries. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to judge all of you, man. You know, as you have sown, so shall you reap. And that's exactly what, what they do. It's something, you know, that makes a part of the sons of Israel. They hate those that reprove at the gates. They hate those that teach the truth. You know, they want smooth words. They want things that are going to suit their mind. What they actually wanted at that time was, you know, for someone to tell them, such weak evil reports so they can go back to egypt you know and I, i'm going back to worshiping the deities that they, that, that, that they worship in the land of egypt you know so this is verse 11 it says and the lord yahweh shimiel shai said unto moses how long will these people provoke me and how long will it be will, be, will it be they believe me for all the signs which i show among them you know these people have seen all different kinds of signs you know, the Most High has, has done a lot of miracles, you know. He just brought them out of the land of Egypt with a great hand, you know. How long will they keep provoking the Most High, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai, just like they're doing today, you know. Just like they are doing today. Everyone wants his or own piece of this kingdom, you know. Everyone wants to be a boss alongside with Esau. They're not praying for the kingdom of heaven to come as we've been taught to pray for the kingdom of heaven to come, you know. Now, going back to... Well, I might as well try to, I might as well try to, you know, do a live. I think I'm going to record this to about an hour or so. Then I'll try doing a live, you know. So... You see, all those people that get the wicked reports, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai judged them, you know. They all perished in the wilderness and they didn't see the promised land. And that's exactly the same thing that's going to happen this time around, you know. All those people that are not believing in this truth, that we're teaching them, you know, that are calling us all different kinds of names, slandering, doing all sorts of wickedness. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has a special missile he has prepared for each one of the wicked, okay. So the wicked shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven at this time, you know. Probably when they come back to their senses, speaking of the wicked of our people, okay. Because Esau, Edom, the wicked, he has no hope for salvation. Esau, Edom has no hope for salvation. The only people that are going to be saved are the Israelites, okay. And Esau is going to be a slave in the kingdom. Hardcore slave. You see all your banking family, the Rothschild, the open Nyman. All those people, you know, that are ruling your so-called presidents of this day, they are all going to be slaves in the kingdom, okay? Hardcore slave. Now, going to the book of Numbers chapter 32, verse 13, there is a damn kind of allergy that disturbs me whenever I come here. Lakia. Oh, get it too.
Now, this is the book of Numbers, chapter 32, verse 13. It says, And Yahweh's anger was kindled against Israel, and he made them wander in the wilderness forty years unto all the generations that had, that had done evil in the sight of Yahweh Shemel Shai was consumed. So you see, instead of making it into the land in forty days, the Most High turned it to forty years. And why? It, it destroyed all the generation of the wicked they were giving evil reports, you know, they were, they, they were against the prophets, they were against the truth. The Most High destroyed them all in the wilderness. And that's the same thing that's going to happen this time around, you know. All the wicked of our people shall be destroyed, you know. Shall be destroyed by the nuclear weapon that is coming, the nuclear bombs that are coming, you know. Nations rising against nations, wars and rumors of wars, famine and pestilences. Lots of people are going to die of hunger, you know. So, <laughs> if you're wise enough, you know, if the Spirit is working with you, you should pray for the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai to help you, to open your eyes, to give you understanding, to understand this truth. Be sincere about it, you know, because there is great evil coming, you know. All that wicked generation that thinks, you know, yeah, they're good now, they have money, they have, they have their little deals with Esau, you know. And they put their trust in those things. Because the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai is going to destroy all that people. You know. Now, continuing. And now, note. You should note. That you know, we read the two reports, the reports of um, of the of the wicked men. You know, they, they 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 said they were giants in the place. They were this, they were that. Now you should note that Caleb and Joshua, they didn't give such reports. They didn't give such reports. So you can see that they were lying. You know, they were just you know scaring the people and disencouraging them. Now. The chapter 14, book of Numbers, chapter 14. Chapter 14, I'll read from verse 27. I'll read from verse 26. And Yahweh spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, How long shall I bear with this evil congregation which murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the children of Israel which they murmur against me. Say unto them, As truly as I live, said Yahweh Shemi Shai, as ye have spoken in my ear, so will I do to you. Your carcasses shall fall in the wilderness, and all that were numbered of you, according to your woe number, from twenty years old and upward, which have murmured against me, doubtless ye shall not come into the land concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein, save Caleb the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua the son of Nun. So you see, the Most High has made the same, the same, he has said the same thing this time around. You know, all those people that are murmuring against the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, going against his commandments, you know, doing all kinds of madness in this kingdom. The ladies have turned, the, 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 Israelite, the Israelite ladies are all sluts now, you know, twerking on, on camera and doing all that BS, wickedness. You know, the, the males, the sons of Israel are gang bangers, man. They're scammers. They're quick to do evil and slow to do good. You know, they're quick to do evil and slow to search the truth. You know, they're all after their, their hearts, after their money, after this, after that. So you see, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has declared none of those people are going to make it into the kingdom. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to destroy each one of you. Okay, if you don't repent and come out from the wickedness that you do, the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai is going to destroy you. Verse 31, it says, But your little ones which ye say shall be a prey, them will I bring in, and they shall know the land which ye have despised. But as for you, your carcasses shall, they shall fall in this wilderness. Because why? The little ones that come out of them, are different individuals you know the most high there is something that the bible speaks of reincarnation you know 
reincarnation is biblical and the most High brings back the sons of israel through through the men you know so in the kingdom when we get to the kingdom these wicked israelites that are going to die this time around we're going to bring them back and remember the bible tells you that the the son the son is not going to take the judgment of the father you understand that's why the most High is not going to destroy their, their little ones This is verse 35, the book of Numbers, chapter 14, 35. It says, I, Yahweh, have said this, I will surely do it unto all this evil congregation that are gathered together against me in this wilderness. They shall be consumed, and there they shall die. You know? So all the sons of Israel that have gathered against the Most High Yahweh, Shem Shai, you know, all the unconscious community, the Egyptologists, the, 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 the sorcerers, uh, the Islam, and other people, the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai is going to destroy you. And this is our job as prophets, man, you know, to come warn you people before destruction comes. And at the end of every kingdom, the Most High always sends his, uh, his, his prophets, his messengers. You know, the scripture tells you, I'll do nothing save I, I, uh, save I reveal it to my prophets, you know. So we're out here to, to inform you about the wickedness that's about to come, the judgment that's about to come on, on this planet as you know it, man. And as I said, people are going to die of starvation, hunger, you know, people are going to go into cannibalism, you know, lots of people are going to catch different missiles, you know, people are going to be killed, and all these proud women, you know, drinking the juice of Esau, being, being, um, being, um, hand in hand, um, how do you put it, hand in hand, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Being an instrument, for lack of better words, being an instrument in the hands of Esau to perpetrate his wickedness, the Most High Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to destroy you all if you don't repent. Okay? Verse 36 And the men which Moses sent to search the land, who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against him, by bringing up a slander upon the land. Okay? It's, let me read again. Sorry, I'm suffering from some allergies in this place. You know, anytime I come, you know, I just get this allergies, man. That's why, you know, we're praying for the kingdom of heaven to come. You know, we need to, we need to flee out of this place because this place is defiled, man. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man has destroyed the order of things, man. How can it be spring and you start suffering allergies and all that thing, you know? Esau, Edom has destroyed the order of things and he needs to pay for all this, you know? But our people, they love it to be so, man. They love it to be under the rule of the wicked, you know? They're not praying for the kingdom of heaven to come. Going back to the book of um, Numbers chapter 14, and verse 36 it says and the men which moses sent to search the land who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against him by bringing up a slander upon the land even those men that did bring up the evil reports upon the land died by the plague before yahaba shem yahushai so you see all of you bringing up bad reports you know slandering the prophets of great millstone standing from the elder post to taha Telling all different kinds of lies, you know, teaching wicked doctrines, doctrines that are against the truth, you know. The Most High Yahweh Shem Shai is going to destroy each one of you. You will not make it into the promised land, which is the kingdom to come, you know. The only people that are going to make it into the kingdom to come, first of all, the Most High has destined them. He has predestined. There's something known as predestination. They've been destined from from the beginning to make it. And second of all, those are the people that did the will of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai. Remember, adulators, fornicators, you know, warmongers, the wicked, they shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Now I'm going back. Verse 38, it says,
It says, But Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jephune, which were the men that went such the land, lived still. You see, so those men that brought up the good reports, they lived, they didn't die. And that's the same thing that's going to happen this time around. You get the most high Yahweh Shemi or Shai, all the men that has taken his work, that has been doing his work, going out on the highways and the byways, teaching this truth sincerely, man. Teaching the 100% truth. The most high Yahweh Shemi or Shai is going to preserve them all during the time of destruction. You know, during the time of great plagues that are coming. The plagues are not going to come night us, you know. Hence come the book of um, the book of Pro, um, Psalm chapter 91, you know. And why is the Most High going to protect us in these times to come? Because we did the things that are pleasing to Him, you know. You have to do the things that are pleasing in the sight of the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai. There is something the Most High hates, sin, you know. Sin is a disrespect to the Most High, Yahweh Shemi Shai, because it tells you to do this, it tells you to do this, and all those things it tells you to do is for your own good, but you decide, you decide to disobey His words and do contrary and that's exactly what the, the, the wicked, they do, you know. They do all kinds of abominable rituals, you know. They sacrifice babies, you know. They eat feces, you know. They sacrifice pigs on the altar, you know. They do all kinds of abominations, you know. As a son of Israel, as so-called Negroes, Native Americans and Latinos, and many other Israelites that are spread in different parts of the world, looking like the various nations where they find themselves, you're not meant to partake of these kinds of abominations, you know. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai detests sin, okay? And these men, they were saved and they made it through the, to, to the promised land. Why? Because they did things that were pleasing to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. Now, let's get the book of, um, book of Hebrew. Book of Hebrew 13, 31, um, let me see. And this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 21. It says, Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, walking in you that which is pleasing in his sight through Yahweh Shai Mashiach to whom be glory, be glory forever and ever. You know, we have. We have to make us perfect in this truth, man. You know, you have to have the hundred percent truth because there is something known as the hundred percent truth. You know, if there is just one percent lie in something, that thing is corrupted. You know, a little leaven leaven at the whole lump. You know, you have to be perfect in this thing. You know, and it says, you say, make you perfect in every good work to do His will, doing the will of the Most High Yahweh Shemi Shai. You know, um. Joshua and Caleb, they did the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. They told the truth, you know. They did what's right. So the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai spared them. And that's exactly what's coming again, you know. Though they that, um, they that abide under the shadow of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, um, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, you know. The secret place is this truth, you know. You have to do walk in this truth. Do the right thing, you know, and what's right? The laws, statutes, and commandments. Now, I'm saying this, though we can't keep these laws and statutes and commandments to 100% because certain things we can't keep in this kingdom, but what you can keep to the best of your ability, you keep it, you know? Let me read it again. Book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 21, it says, Make you perfect in every good work to do His will, working in you that which is, please, that which is well pleasing in His sight. Through Amashiach Yahweh Shai, 
to whom be glory forever and ever. You know, you have to do what's pleasing in the sight of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, just like Joshua and Caleb did. Salakia, just a moment. And that's it with that scripture right there. Oh, my goodness. This is the book of 1st John chapter 3 verse 22. It says, and whatsoever It says, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Okay? Let me read again. 1st John chapter 3 verse 22. It says, and whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. And this is how you know that the, 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 the Christians, so-called Christians today, which are not Christian, the real Christians actually are the, are the sons of Israel that are standing out in the streets, you know, doing his work, week in, week out, teaching this truth. The Hebrew Israelites, we are the real Christians, man, you know. And this is how you know that they're not telling the truth, man, because they tell you that the laws are done away with, you know. And this is the book of John. How can the laws be done away with when righteousness is established upon the law? You know, just like I said, you're not, we're not going to be judged by keeping the, the laws, you know. But that law is the way to righteousness. You have to keep it to the best of your ability, you know. Let me read it one more time. Book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments and do things that are pleasing in his sight and this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and love one another as we as he gave us commandments and he that keepeth his commandments dwell in him and he in him hereby we know that he abided in us by the spirit which he had given us so you see if you keep the, the, the if you keep the, the commandments of the most high Yahweh Shimei Shai to the best of your ability, you abide in the most high. You know? We're going to be in, in the same um how should I put it? In the same spirit, man. You know, in order for you to be in the spirit of the most high Yahweh Shimei Shai, you have to tap into his commandments to the best of your ability, just like written here. And you have to believe in the name of his son, just like written in verse um Verse 23, it says, And this is his commandment that we should believe on the name of his son, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and love one another. You know? So if you don't believe in the name of the Most High Yah uh, Yahweh Shai and his son, man, there is nothing for you. You know? Because truly, that name is the key. Is the key. You know? Whosoever believeth in his name shall not perish but have everlasting life. You know? That name of Yahweh Shai is the key. And Yahweh Shai is not a Greek because the name Jesus is a, is a Greek name. You know, just like I was explaining to the, to the, to the lady, she, she looked some kind of bogged out, you know? But hey, we do what we have to do, you know? His name is not Jesus. Now, as I was telling the lady, this is the 1611 edition. The letter J wasn't even existing in this place, man. You know? You find the name Jesus. And I did a lesson on that word Jesus. You know? I did a lesson. You can go check out um, the, the channel. That lesson is, um, is speaking on, um, on how these ancient Romans, they had this deity that, that they called Jesus. Okay? 
they have this ancient deity called Asus. Okay, and what does Asus do? Asus is a bloodthirsty deity. They sacrifice babies to Asus, and that's the name that the allusion is being given to this modern name, um, Jesus, Jesus, which is a Greekish name. And we know that our Savior is of the tribe of Judah, you know, is a Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Judah, and he has a Hebrew Israelite name, you know. So how can it be called a Greekish name? Moment. Damn, man, this allergy is crazy. This place is destroyed, man. The food is poisoned, the water is poisoned, everything is poisoned, man. Esau Edom is a devil. If you were to rule this kingdom and, um, for, for, for other 10 to 12, 15 years, man, we'll all be done, man. We'll all be done. Going back to the lesson, you know, doing that thing that pleases the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai in order to be saved, like, in order to be saved and see the promised land like um, Joshua and Caleb. This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse 29. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And he that sent me is with me. The Father hath not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. So you see, when you do the things that please the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai would never leave you. It will always be there. Now the scripture tells you that the angels of the Most High encamped around those. Let me let, let, let me let me get that scripture real quick. The book of Psalm. This is the book of Psalm 34, verse 7. It says, the angel of Yahweh Shem Yahushai encampeth around about them that fear him and delivereth them. So you see, if you fear the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, which is the first step to wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, you start doing those things that are pleasing to the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai. And once you start doing those things that are pleasing to the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you get protection, you know. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. You know, there is no arrows or there is no wickedness that the so-called Esau Edom is going to do, push onto you that's going to succeed. Because the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is going to protect you. You know, you're going to see the, the promised land just like, um, just like Joshua and Caleb saw the promised land. And those that are, that, 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 that brought the, um, the wicked reports, they all perished in the wilderness, in which this world in itself is like a wilderness. Esau has turned everywhere to a wilderness, you know? So in this wilderness, in the days to come, the time of Jacob's trouble, book of Jeremiah 30 and 7, you know, you really need the protection of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. If not, you can't stand those days, man, you know? That's, how the, that's why the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai needs to shorten those times. For the elect's sake, you know, 
It says even even the very elect shall 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 strictly make it into that kingdom, you know. So you have to do what's pleasing in the sight of the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai. Let's see. And you also. Oh. You also need to be truthful to yourself. This is the book of John, chapter 8, verse 32. It says, And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. You know? First of all, you have to know you have to be truthful to yourself in this thing of ours. If you're not truthful to yourself, you're only deceiving yourself. The most high Yahweh Shemi Shah is not mocked. Okay? He knows every of your thoughts. He knows every of your heart desires. Things that you don't say. The Most High knows the, the, the heart of man. You know? Because the Most High, the goings of man are in his hands. It directs your goings, man. If the Most High says you're going to be a devil, you're going to be a devil. If the Most High says you're going to be a saint, you'll be a saint. You know? So first of all in this thing, you have to be truthful to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop deceiving yourself because you, you don't deceive anyone. You deceive only yourself, you know? Wow. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11. I wanted to read verse 3, but I'm going to start from the top. Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 1. It says, False balance is abomination to Yahweh Shem Shai, but a just weight is his delight. You know, you need to have a just balance. You know, stop deceiving yourself stop deceiving yourself be truthful to yourself you need to have a just balance you know a perfect balance the most high has a just balance you know stop claiming to be that holy over righteous kind of person you know when you're not and stop being in this truth and having one leg in the world that's not balance man you know you can't serve the most high Yahweh Shai and serve Mammon, you know, that's not a just balance. A just balance is being truthful to yourself. First of all, the elder apostle Gaba, I believe, has done a lesson in the past on this. You, in this truth, you have to be truthful to yourself. If there is anywhere you're lacking, you call on the name Yahweh Shem Shai. You pray sincerely, okay, behind closed doors, and you beg for help, you know. The Bible tells you, seek and you shall find, ask and it shall be given unto you, knock and it shall be opened. If there is anywhere you're lacking, any problems you solve, uh, you, 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 you're facing, call on the name of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. Okay? And if you're sincere, you're humble about it, the Most High will, will truly help you. You know? It says, the false balance is an abomination to the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai, but the just weight is his delight. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. You know? The pride of this world is, is gone to a different, totally different level, man. You know? People are, are prideful of everything. You know? And when pride comes, downfall comes. As a matter of fact, this society is built in a way to exalt yourself, to make yourself God, you know? To do things that others have not done and be seen as a, as, as, as a kind of, um, I don't know, as a top whatever. You know how it goes in this kingdom, man, you know? And all this thing is vanity. It's all vanity, you know? The fashion of this kingdom, as you know it, the fashion of this world, everything is going to be destroyed and melted. 
So what sort of men are you meant to be? Let me, let me get it real quick. Please bear with me. I know it's in the book of um first um first Peter or second Peter, but I'm not sure which one. And I know it's the third chapter. Can this is the book of Second Peter, chapter three, verse eleven? It says, "Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person ought you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of Yahaba Shem Yahushai, wherein the heaven, being on fire, shall be dissolved and the element shall melt with fervent heat." You know, so all this pride is useless. You know, if you don't have the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, <laughs> you're a dead man walking, man. You know, because everything that you see, it's all going to be repristinated, man. You know, the wicked is going from the top. Is going is going to become the the last. You know, the first shall become the last, and the last shall be first. You know. Going back to the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 3. It says, The integrity of the upright shall guide him, but the perverseness of the transgressors shall destroy them. The integrity of the upright. Integrity. There is something known as integrity, man. You know? Let's look up the word integrity right there. So the word integrity is tama, okay? So it's innocence, integrity. Uh, let me look at the... Integrity means honesty, okay? Unity, the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. The state of being whole and undivided. So you see, integrity is the quality of being honest and having a strong moral principle. That's why I said in this truth, you have to be first honest with yourself. You have to be truthful to yourself. You know, if you're not honest with yourself, you don't have integrity, you can't walk this path. You know, you can't walk this path. It's not done. The most high Yahweh Bashem Yahushai will take you off, you know. You can't make it. You can't see the promised land. You know, you're going to be labeled as part of that um, those evil, evil Israelites that brought um, an evil report. You know. So going back to the book of Proverbs, chapter eleven, verse four, it says, "Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivereth from death." Riches. Profit not in the day of wrath, just like we read in the second book of um, of Peter, the, the, the third chapter, the eighteenth verse, saying that all these things shall be dissolved. What manner of men shall you be? You know. <laughs> the only thing that's going to dis uh, deliver you from death is righteousness, man. You know, your money, your social status, you know, your careers, your whatever. Those things cannot save you from what's about to come, you know? You need to have integrity. Integrity. Walk in righteousness. 
stop being carried, you know, left, right, by all these devils that are teaching all wicked kinds of doctrines. Come out from your churches because in your churches, the churches are cemeteries, man. You know, you don't learn anything in those places. The other day, you know, I visited, no, well, I visited a, a, a sort of monastery, you know, in my city. I never seen, I never had the opportunity of going in there. You know, so I just walked in and you can see this, this huge cathedral with all different kinds of statues in it. Then they had, um, they had, um, what do you call it? Coffins where they buried some of their so-called saints who are devils, you know. And in that place was just like a cemetery, man, you know. So you see, it says, riches profited not. Riches profited not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. So I'm going to stop here. I want to continue the lesson by doing a life, you know. Hopefully the life is going to, you know, is going to come through at least an hour, you know. I hope it's not going to, you know, turn down on me like before. So let me stop this lesson, catch me up in the life.